One word. Zika. <laughs> There's no Zika anymore. That was like a, that's a 2016 thing. Dengue. Dengue, dengue. That's the one you should worry about. Malaria. Please go to the Philippines. We like tourists. Hi, my name is Cheska, and I was born and raised in Davao City, Philippines. Hi, my name is Donnie. I was born and raised in Manila, Philippines. And these are 10 ways you're traveling wrong in the Philippines. Number one, walking while smoking. One, it's not healthy for you. Two, it's gross. Three, the Philippines is really hot and sticky as it is. Different cities have different rules on smoking. Like for me, Davao, uh, they're very strict on smoking in public. In Manila, they're not as strict, but you have like designated. Yeah. It's like a designated area for smoking. And it's just considered rude to be walking around the street and smoking because like some people, yeah, they just don't want to smell your smoke or asthmatic. He has asthma. It's just considered rude and disrespectful. Number two, not bringing cash. The Philippines is very reliant on cash. Usually when you go to the malls or the big store places, they use credit card. But for the most part, if you're going out for food, going out for a public transportation, for example, going on tours, cash is always king in the Philippines. Don't worry about like exchanging all your dollars like in the airport because like in the Philippines, every mall has like a dollar exchange kiosk. Pretty much. Yeah, it's like everywhere, like every floor in every mall has a place where you can exchange your dollars. So you don't have to like worry about that too much. Just bring a lot of dollars and then as you need it, you can exchange them in the mall. It's always a good idea to bring your local currency and then exchange it in the Philippines rather than using your ATM card in the Philippines and to get some money out. So good idea to bring your whatever dollars or whatever you're from and go to the mall, exchange it for a Filipino peso. Money tip, when you're bringing cash to the Philippines, make sure it's new cash. About a few years ago, the Philippines changed its version of money. So if you still have old Philippine pesos running around your house from your aunt or your grandma, they might not work anymore. Just check. If you have pesos that your friend gave you, just check online to see if it's still legal tender. That's what they call yep. it. Yeah, because otherwise you won't be able to use it. Speaking of cash, let's talk about the tips. Number three, tipping on your credit card. Tipping in the Philippines is not expected, but greatly appreciated. Usually tips are done in cash. If you have the means to tip, please tip because uh, people work very hard and they don't get paid a lot of money. Please, please tip. And that goes as well for not just uh, restaurants, but if you have a really good tour guide or a really good taxi driver, I think people, working class Filipinos really do appreciate it. Please tip your people. Strippers. <laughs> Number four, calling people by their names. In the Philippines, when you're out on a restaurant and people have name tags, we usually use what's called like honorifics. Or salutations. Or salutations. Kuya, for example, is for an older male and ate for an older female. And manong and manang is usually for like aunts and uncles. And typically you use the salutations with their name. For example, your name is John. It's going to be Kuya John or Manong John. I don't know. Sometimes I say boss. Yeah, or yeah. boss chief. Boss chief. If they look younger than me, I'll just say boss. It's like a more respectful version of dude. So instead of like, hey dude, like, hey Kuya, hey Mano, if you don't really know their name or not that close with them. Yeah. So think of it as the Filipino dude. Number five, not bringing toilet paper around. Just in case, bring toilet paper. It's kind of gross, but not all public restrooms have toilet paper available sometimes. So you just bring them. And also if you're not used to the street food, you need it. We have what we call either a bidet or tabo. If you don't know what tabo is, it's like a little plastic cup. A, a pail, like a, a yep. little bucket. Like a and, hand then a bucket. and then you like, get water, and then you, water, and then you pour, like, and then you wash with your hands. Yeah. Don't look so shy. Just wash your hands after. I mean, even if you use a toilet paper, please still wash your hands. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Number six, expecting an abundance of vegan options. Filipinos, we don't have a lot of vegans. Sometimes we have Filipinos that do have dietary restrictions, but they're usually like our Muslim population. Mm -hmm. And so when you go to a tour, the alternative meat is usually like fish. Mm -hmm. And be really careful because we have a lot of vegetable dishes in the Philippines. So if you ask for a vegetarian option, they might say, oh, this is vegetarian, but it's mostly made out of vegetable, but there's ground pork or- um, Shrimp paste. Shrimp paste or- Fish so sauce. Correct. So there's a lot of vegetable dishes, but not just pure vegetarian option. We have lots of fruits though.
You have lots of fruit. You have great fruits. We have fruits you've never even tried. Santol. Mangoes. Rambutan. The little bananas. <laughs> the little bit of plantains. Plantain. Durian. Pineapple. Jackfruit. Star mango. Lanzones. Chico. I remember Chico. That's so good. Bigger. Plumper. Choosier. Wow. Number seven, using knives. So typically in your non-fancy American restaurant, you have a knife and a fork. In the Philippines, you have a spoon and a fork. So it's kind of very different. Yeah, and but just don't worry about it because like Filipino food, they're usually softer. You don't really need knives. The meats are already usually cut up in like small sizes. Yeah, and don't, don't assume that Filipino restaurants will use chopsticks. We don't use chopsticks for Filipino food. We do use chopsticks for- The Chinese, Chinese Filipino stuff. Yeah, Chinese food. And we have what's called butoh fight, where you eat with your hands. You get a piece of meat, put it on rice, you shape it in like a pyramid, and you shove it in your mouth. Yeah. So good. Here in America, when you buy an entree, it's usually just for yourself. But for Filipinos, it's usually like for sharing. PSA, if you do use your hands though, remember the earlier tip, Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Even if you use toilet paper. Number eight, not bringing sunscreen and mosquito repellent. Do it! Do it! Bring it! One word, Zika. <laughs> There's no Zika anymore. That was like a, that's a 2016 thing. Dengue. Dengue, dengue. That's the one you should worry about. Malaria. Please go to the Philippines. We like tourists. Tanning and sunscreen, two different things. Even if you want to tan, please use sunscreen. Just don't underestimate the sun in the Philippines. Use it, please. Use it! Use it! Use it! Skin cancer. Shh. Number nine, not respecting the ocean. So the Philippines and the Philippine government has been slowly rehabilitating a lot of big tourist spots, especially island towns. Boracay was the most recent one. They may do it for other really popular touristy towns that you see on Instagram. Just be mindful of your plastic waste because we love our corals and we love our sea creatures and we love the ocean. And we're a country of 7,000 something islands, so we're, there's ocean all around you. Pro tip about saving the ocean, if you see a local trashing the ocean, feel free to call them out. It's just the right thing to do. Doesn't matter if you're Filipino, you're not Filipino. If you see somebody um, destroying the ocean, please call them out. Every time I see a piece of plastic or trash in the ocean or by the river, I just get them put, them, put them in your pocket and then throw them in the proper way, disposal. And the Philippines is a fun place. There's lots of places, lots of towns that it's super fun to party. Uh, we love to drink and you can drink as much as you want, but uh, when you go have a party, just take out what you brought in. I will clarify that this is the difference between big cities like Manila, Davao, Cebu versus smaller island towns like possibly like Siargao, El, El Nido, Palawan, Coron, Coron uh, Boracay now. Mm -hmm. They're much stricter with plastic use. They don't allow plastics anymore near the ocean. We as Filipinos are working on it and if you come visit us, please help us work on it as well. Number 10, not following public transportation etiquette. So if you dare ride a jeepney, you may be seated at the very edge mm -hmm. of the jeepney, the driver is here. So when you need to give the money, you don't have to like... Walk all the way up to the driver. <laughs> and just like, you don't have to do that because it gets really far. You just have to pass the money to your person like this. And people will get it. You don't have to speak. Say, just say, um, just reach your hand out like this and people will grab the money and, until it reaches okay. the driver. For example, and if you have change, the driver will give, give to the next person and I'll get it and I'll give you the change. Please don't give the drivers like a full on 50 or 100. Or a thousand pesos. It's, it's very rude. Give them change in the morning. There's like signs that say change only in the morning. Yeah. Jeepneys don't accept credit card. Neither do most buses or, or trains. Or tricycles. Or tricycles. Yeah. Pretty much any public transportation in the Philippines expect they don't accept credit card. Also, people don't really do small talk. and public areas or public transportation. Yeah, it's weird. This is common among Asian countries, yeah, I'd say, yeah. Pretty much. Not to say the Filipinos aren't nice, but usually you end up doing small talk like when it's your, I don't know, like your waiter or some, when you're yeah. in a party or when you're in a club, but not- Not in public transportation because it's hot and sticky or all yeah. crammed together. Yeah. In Manila, there's trains and sometimes there's a female only cart. If you're a male, don't go there. But if you're a man with like maybe a small baby, I th think they'll let you in there. Come to the Philippines. It's great. If you have ever been there or if you're from there, if you missed anything, just a comment below. Yep. Come to the Philippines. Great place. Nice people. Great food. Cheap food. Amazing food. Amazing food. Amazing islands. Yep. Cheap massages. Oh my God, cheap <laughs> massages. If you have any other tips or suggestions, write it down below. We'll love to hear it. Bye. Or as we say in the Philippines, bye. bye.